Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C-squared. In this example, we have this rational inequality and we need to uh, find the solution set and express the solution set in interval notation. So uh, the first thing you want to do is to take this denominator, the numerator, I'm sorry, and make it equals to zero. And in this case, we get two solution x equals negative 10, x equals 12. And also take the denominator, make it equals to zero. And in this case, we get x equals negative eight. So now I'm gonna do a sign table. And in this sign table, I'm gonna put x here and let's call the function f of x, okay? So now we're gonna put uh, these three values we uh, found, found it in the first step, which are negative 8, negative 10, and 12. So I'm going to start with negative 10. In this moment, the, the numerator is 0, so the whole fraction is 0. Then we have negative 8, the next gentleman. Now, be careful, because here the fraction, the rational function f of x is undefined. And the last um, number on my uh, table will be 12, when again the uh, numerator is 0, so the rational function is zero. So you notice we have four intervals here on which we want to find how the function behaves, the signs. So let's say, let's say we go and start with a number larger than 12, like 13. Uh, in this case, um, the numerator is going to be a product of two positive number, right? And the denominator is going to be a negative number. If you, you if you want to evaluate, that's uh, I'm sorry, a positive number also. If you want to evaluate, that is possible, right? 13 plus 10, 13 minus 12, and 13 plus 8. But we need only the sign, and that will be a positive number. So that's the reason I'm going to put here plus. Now I'm going to go with number between negative 8 and 12, like zero will be a good one. Okay. And again, you can evaluate if you want. If we plug 0 in here, we have a positive 10, a negative 12, and a positive 8. Okay, so uh, this uh, combination here is going to give us a negative number. As a reason, I'm going to put here negative. A number larger than, I'm, I'm sorry, a number that is between negative 10 and negative 8, which will be negative 9, the best one, the only one. Uh, if you want to evaluate, we're going to get a negative 9 plus 10, that is a positive number. Negative 9 minus 12, that is going to be a negative number. And negative 9 plus 8, that will be a negative number. This combination here is going to give us a positive number. And we have one more choice, number less than uh, negative 9, I'm sorry, the negative 10, like negative 11. And we have what here? We have negative 11 plus 10, that is a negative number. Negative 11 minus 12, that is a negative number. Over negative 11 plus 8, that is another negative number. This combination here is going to give us a negative number. That's the reason I'm going to have negative. And now I'm going to look to this situation we have here. And what is the solution set for our problem? We notice here is negative or equals to zero and here these are the two interval so we can end up with negative infinity negative 10 and be careful here negative 8 All right it needs to be open interval because the the function is not defined a negative 8 to 12 that one you close it because it can be equals to zero and the union. This is the solution set using this algebraic approach. We can use a graphical approach and you notice these are the, I'm sorry, these are the moment when the function is less or equal to zero. Uh, these are the moment where the function is less or equal to zero. These two pieces.
negative infinity, negative 10, and from negative 8 to 12. If you enjoyed this circuit, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see Square for more help. Thank you.